All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Rebirth video. I know I know, I skipped yesterday. I'm sorry. I was sick this whole weekend, and I got I got all messed up. But here we are spectating Rebirth. Now, first and foremost, whoever at Activision decided that Radar Jammers is a good thing, you need to be fired. Just, get, just buy. Kick him out of the studio, lock the doors, take away his little scan key, and ban him from the game. That's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Secondly, here we are, again, moving on to Mace. And Mace really doesn't have any idea what the hell he wants to do. We got crates around us. We got an orange crate next to us. We go ahead and loot. We're going to reload instead. He reloaded for those two bullets. The reason why I'm trolling him for reloading is because we need to get out there and get some fights going on, man. People want to survive more in Rebirth Island than they do in Caldera, and it mind blows me. You get to respawn. Guys, Rebirth Island is a respawn mode. You get to come back from the heavens when you die. It's amazing, man. Use the opportunity to your advantage to go out there and get some kills. Why are we playing like this? Are you literally just doing... What are we doing? Your team is dying slowly but surely. And Mace still in the showers. We're going to move on from Mace. He clearly doesn't really know what he wants to do in life. Heavy hitters not really doing much either. Name's definitely fitting for the rocket that he's got in his hand. That Panzer's nasty if you can hit the target. I love the Panzer. Trolling enemies with that gun is, or with that rocket is amazing. But look, people always hit me up like, Savage, expect you Rebirth gameplay. And I would love to, but at the end of the day, guys, Rebirth, there's not much strategy. And I'm not shitting on Rebirth players, so calm down. Compared to Caldera, compared to Verdance, there's not as much strategy. It's all about movement. It's all about reading the mini-map. Knowing rotations of enemies. Predicting where they're going to be at. It's not so much strategy as it is skill in just getting out there and playing aggressive. At the end game, there are certain situations where rotations will matter if you got to get safe. But for the most part, you don't ever have to worry about playing the circle. You really don't. So if you hear gunfire, run after it. Because if you die, guess what? You get to respawn. You know why players play like this right here? Do you know why? Because I don't want to mess up my KD. And fuck your KD, bro. It's Rebirth Island. This is probably, this is supposed to be one of the most fun game modes there is. And I know it is. I prefer Caldera, but that's because in my eyes, it's more challenging. Wins in Rebirth for me don't seem as exciting. We'll win 10 Rebirth games back to back and I'll be like, yay. I win three Caldera games. I'm like, whoa, let's go. You know, so it's, it's just different. But don't let that deter you guys. Get out there and have some fun, man. Have fun with this mode. Come on, bro. That's what it's for. It's a mixture of Battle Royale and multiplayer. It gives you best, best of both worlds. It breaks my heart, honestly, seeing people play like this. It really does. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to hate on people. I'm just trying to, like, really reinforce it. I see passive gameplay pretty often in Caldera. But nowhere as bad as Rebirth. Not even close, dude. Not even close. And you know what's funny, dude? You watch these Rebirth guys like Bear Pig and, and 5x5. And the list goes on. Um, and you never watch them play like this. But yet, so many people do. You would think that when you watch better people play, you would try to imitate the things that they do, right? Mimic their strategies. Practice playing more aggressively. Um, again, because you get to respawn. But for some reason, we don't see that. I'm not to mention, dude, look, two, if you guys are struggling in Rebirth to get kills, run as a squad, man, four stack. I don't mind four stacking if you're running together and you're wiping into the server. If you're four stacked in a corner, <laughs> piece of shit. But if you're four stacked running through the map, man, dude, use it to your advantage. That team that just killed our boy up top, right under the roof, guess what? They came down and three stacked us. That's why we ran away. It worked. It worked, man. All right, but enough of me blabbering. Here we have an enemy to our lower right out in the open, not even paying attention to the mini-map. Oh, finally, ding, 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 oh, maybe not. So the enemy was right here for the longest time and we hesitated, we didn't push up and now he's safe. So we missed out on a free kill, unfortunately. Again, mini map awareness, man. They're all above us. Not really sure why we're rotating in an area that has no enemies. When it comes to rebirth, guys, you want a strategy? Go where enemies are at. Stop being afraid. 
when you guys start playing more aggressively, you'll start realizing and learning when to push an enemy, how to take advantage and pick an enemy when he's by himself. Things like that. Hesitation right there. I don't blame it. Probably wouldn't be able to finish off the kill. There you go. I'll be honest too, bro. When it comes to STG, bro, the 3X is way better than the 6X. I'm sorry, 2.5X. My bad, my bad, my bad. That 6X just gives a little too much recoil, visual recoil. I don't like it at all. I definitely recommend you guys put on that 2.5, baby. Guy falling into our lower right, or our upper right hand side. He actually gets shot by the enemy as well. I thought that was part of their teammate. That could have been real bad for us. All right, here we are. Three stacking running across, trying to push this one guy. Great shot by our teammate. Get the sniper shot off on him. Now, let's see how we fight this. I've been talking about four, three stacking and four stacking together and playing as a squad. Let's see if they do it. Nope. We're going to camp it safe. Remember, you got one more enemy over there. Be very careful. Again, respect their teammate going in there trying to fight it, but we should have been with him. Great job breaking away. Got to play it up. I play the backside of the boxes and watch that door. Because they may push up on us. To the left-hand side, you hear his footsteps. To right, your immediate left. There might be a guy down the hallway too, but there's definitely a guy to immediate left. Let's see how they play this, bro. This is not looking good for this squad at all. Our teammate able to clean it up, but again, dude, that enemy that was to our left came in and just 1v2'd them. Turn up your audio, boys. Turn up your audio. Also, destroy the fuck up that trophy system. Don't let that shit just sit there. Look, I respect the attempt to try to rotate and confuse the enemy, but we gave up the high ground in that fight. Um, and again, we pushed into the unknown. We only got one kill. We're playing quads. Those guys were rolling together before. They were three stacking. Not surprised there were two more guys there. Play more. Oh, yeah, daddy. We've got two enemies by us. Maybe three enemies by us now. And we're just sitting in a corner. Three enemies are scary, guys. But again, man, try to try to get eyes on the enemies. Try, start pushing up. You don't have to just go in balls to the wall, but push up to the enemies. Try to take advantage of one that's straggling away. But here we are. And here we are. Jarkus doing a decent job. 54 bullets again. Here's a squad. Hello. Hello. How many are there, man? How do we know? Great knock. You knew there were three guys in there, judging by the footsteps. The audio sucks in this game, but I heard it. I'm sure you guys heard it. No reason for that at all. We had three people as well. We should have pushed them together, but we didn't for some odd reason. Finally moving on to another passive squad that third party us from the back. Couldn't predict that move, I'm going to be honest. But they never would have got third party. They just would have pushed them together and had a nice 3v3 fight. They didn't. They filed in one at a time. They played that doorway way too long. And again, they got third party by uh, King Hutchins. Bounty contract, bounty contract mark. Oh, dude, here we are. And look, if you're in this position, you're, you're by yourself, just try your best to outplay the situation. Take this as a learning opportunity. You're probably going to lose the game. You're probably going to lose the game, but take this as a learning opportunity. Get out there, man, and, and practice your 1v2s, 1v3s, 1v4s. Let's have fun with it, dude. You, know, you might surprise yourself. You play like this, this right here, you're not going to get surprised. You're not going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. This is no clip thing. This is no tick. This is nothing. 
you might shock yourself some crazy shit you'll pull off trust me i've been there a billion times just go out there start fucking ramboing it see what happens you might impress yourself bro you might get a little bit more confidence you might get a little bit better Baited. Bait is a hard bro. He opened the door and we came out like it was like clockwork, bro. Like clockwork. That was a good play by Welfare Warrior, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's intentional or not. Oh my god, the fourth of July. See him down? What do you see four and four? Put that away. Come on, man. I respect the roof jump. It's a 3v3 right now. We have the high ground. I mean... At this point here, it's up to you what you want to do. Oh, never mind. If it was a 3v3, we could just jump in and push together, but... I don't know what the fuck they just did. They got clapped by something. Never mind. I was going to say, you can push in and play the roof. I don't know how the fuck those guys lost that, though. Now, look, we have a gas mask. So we can play the gas. Let the enemies come out. Let them go to zone first. And shoot them in the back. The odds of one of those are very low. But that's your best pl plan of action. Get off this ridge too, bro. You're going to get fucked up. Alright, that would have been a good play if he hit his shots. Did his characters yell, fuck you? It's gorgeous. And yeah, there it is. All right, and dude, rebirth. This is not much strategy to it, man. But I think the the story always tells the same ending, right? You play aggressive, you have a lot more kills. You have a better chance of winning. If you play passive, you see what happens. You look at his aim right there. He was playing that ridge. He was playing the gas. He had a guy dead to rights. He missed ninety percent of his shots. He hit him three times out of all those bullets. The enemy ran away. He would have got that knock. It's now a 1v2. It could have been a better situation. That other guy that we ended up getting fucked up by, we could have got him too. But again, he missed his shots. That was two potential easy kills he could have had, forcing a 1v1, and who knows what would have happened. But the reason why his aim's that bad is because he's not out there actively playing aggressive. You can see by the amount of kills he has. The respawn mode. You guys are playing this day in and day out. You better be dropping more than two kills. We all have bad games. I have two kill games too. Hot dropping and dying. I get it. But man, you got it. Dude, you want to be better at the game, push fights. Simple. It's not a fucking myth. It's not a story. It's the God honest truth. You want to have good games consistently. You want to get better, push some fights. 